This is Middle Class Matt from don'tbythehype.blogspot.com and I am the sports genius. One thing that I saw in the future, I think most people that know football saw this as well, is that Russell Wilson would be named the starter. Now, I didn't see it coming this quickly. This is pretty impressive. But Russell Wilson was named today the starter for the Seattle Seahawks. Now, what is um, particularly impressive about this is that he wasn't an early round pick. He was more of a middle round pick. Actually went higher than some people even projected. He did not come in with the clout that an Andrew Luck and an RG3 did. Now, I will say, and a lot of people have said this, if the guy was three inches taller, he would have. If they, In whatever order, he would have been drafted in the, in the top three with those guys. He's under six feet tall, and that hurts him. But this is a character, leader, and fine athlete and individual. I have been so high on Russell Wilson. State fans probably look at me, because I'm, I'm a huge North Carolina Tar Heel fan. So I saw him play. I was at the games when either he just pulled himself up by the bootstraps and pulled out victories against Carolina one after another, or when he dominated them one year. There was a year I was there, it was either three or four years ago, and Russell Wilson in Chapel Hill absolutely dominated the Tar Heels. So I've seen him firsthand. I don't like running quarterbacks. I'm very traditional. I like Peyton Manning kind of quarterback sitting back there and dissecting a defense and just assassinating them with darts. I love that. But Russell Wilson is a passer who can run. His height is trouble. It, it may be the only thing that derails him. Probably, and you know what, to be honest, it will be the only thing that de derails him, that or an injury, because he is one of the finest individuals and players I've ever seen. His play on the field speaks for itself. What he went up and did in Wisconsin, the offense he brought there. State really suffering when he left. NC State um, has really suffered offensively last year when he left and probably lost several games because of letting him go and letting him go to Wisconsin when he wanted to come back to State. And then also, when you when he's interviewed and when, and when he's talked, not just a play that I was just talking about, but just... When you talk, when you listen to this guy, this guy is just a leader of men. I mean, he's the way when you talk to Drew Brees, or or even more so maybe than him, someone like Peyton Manning. He has a person like Tim Tebow, where this guy's just a leader of men. John Gruden saw it, and that's where I really saw it. I've seen it the whole time when he was at State, and, and noticed it as a as a Tar Heel fan. You know, it's kind of the guy you love to hate because he you know really comes in there and, and wears your tail out, um, wears your team's tail out. Um, but in the Gruden camp, I saw it, um, when they interviewed him, I was like, this guy, I mean, he talks about his faith, he talks about his principles, he comes from a military family, he's no nonsense, he's straightforward when he's looking and talking to you, he's focused and intense, he says the right things, but they're not cliche, he's not like, we're going to give 110%, 110% of the time, that's not what you get, this guy's like, we're going to go out there and we're going to focus we're going to work hard, and whatever it takes to win, we're going to do that. That's the kind of person Russell Wilson is. Now, he beat out Matt Flynn, and they're paying Matt Flynn a lot of money, so it's going to be interesting to see what he does. And if Russell Wilson struggles in the first few games, they'll put Matt Flynn, because I think they're paying him like 8 or $9 million. And he looked good last year. Um, in the one game that he played, he probably had the best quarterback performance just about of anybody in the entire season in a season full of great quarterback performances. But he was with the Green Bay offense and everything they had running there, so he might sort of been just like put in the button or the cog on the machine and let him take off. But Russell Wilson has been named Seattle Seahawk quarterback. Very impressive. Most people saw this coming, maybe not this early. But the guy is a genuine winner. And like I said, probably only height through injury will derail this guy's career. I'm Middle Class Matt. Check out all my NFL videos, my predictions that I'm doing for the NFC. I predicted what Russell Wilson's team would do. Check that video out, and I'll see you next time.